the Bollinger Band's indicator is plotting two lines, the upper band and the lower band. They are placed at a certain distance away from a center line that is a simple moving average. When the markets are more volatile, the bands widen. When the markets are less volatile, the bands contract. The center line, the upper band and the lower band can be used in different trading strategies. The squeeze happens when the bands come closer together, constricting the moving average. This signals a current period of low volatility. Usually it precedes a future increased volatility and possible trading opportunities. Conversely, the wider the bands move, the more likely the chance of a decrease in volatility is. Breakouts above or below the bands are major events. Most of the time, price action occurs between the upper and the lower bands. Even though many traders treat Bollinger Bands breakouts like trading signals, they provide no reliable information as to the direction or extent of future price movement. The lines are drawn because of the price action, not the other way around. Because Bollinger Bands technical indicator is based on a simple moving average, it is also a lagging indicator. By the time a squeeze or a breakout is observed on a chart, the price evolution that determined the plotting has already produced the effect which we observe. That's why it's important to distinguish between the cause and the effect and trade accordingly. To see more, please subscribe, give us a thumb up and share our clips.